And I want to say that we found out that uh, sexual violence is for real. It happens to both boys and girls, but more to girls. And it goes through the whole system because we're given primary, secondary, tertiary, and also university. We need to encourage our girls to, to, to speak out because so many things are being carried out. But the girls fear to come out and tell that the teacher has seduced me. Or they are students who molest teachers, both females and males. I have seen a teacher who was pregnant by a student. <laughs> yes. As a country, we need to set the standard concerning the dressing code in the, the universities. There are many incidences where the male lecturers themselves have been provoked. For instance, by, by female students wearing skimpy outfits during the lecture classes, which are very suggestive. We must all be exemplary. We, it should start with us. Even in the house here, we have honor members who don't dress fairly well. Yes, especially the ladies. We, the males who are, who are in, in parliament here, at times we bring girls here for education. We bring them to various say, colleges or schools, but we turn around and marry them off. Me, I think we could also think about having rehab. Sometimes these men have problems, or women, that we need, they need to be rehabilitated. Criminal investigations should also be conducted so that such kind of amorous persons, both men and women, are brought to book. He's taking disciplinary action to the wrongdoers pointed out in that report. Disciplinary measures will be administered within, according to the laws of this country. The report of the Select Committee of inquiry into allegation of sexual violence in institutions of learning in Uganda be adopted. Will those in favor side the contrary? No. Wow. The eyes have it.